What's up guys, CKX back at it again with another reaction video. The spooky month is over and uh, we didn't get a chance to get some horror reactions out. But since horror is basically a staple on this channel in general, I feel like we can go against that rule for this one. Today we're going to be reacting to some short horror films. Usually I don't watch short horror films by myself. Ironically, I do watch them when someone else reacts to them. So hopefully I can extend the same and hopefully you guys can see like some new short horror films that you possibly want to check out i don't know regardless of spooky month being over with we're still going to be having some uh spooks in this video if you're into the idea then uh let's watch the short horror films we'll be watching today are coming courtesy of acm official they make a lot of horror short films and They've been doing so for a long while. I know a video that everyone probably knows the most from them is The Smiling Woman. I've seen it. It's pretty horrific. So, I've been exposed to the talent that they have. And if I'm judging them off of that alone, then I know that we're going to be in for a pretty, pretty uh, terrifying time once we watch the shorts. Of course, first of all, before we start, it is mandatory that I give you the snacks first. Of course, we have the Doritos, the ever-present Doritos. They will never leave my side. We also have something in the fridge. Straight from the fridge, we got some uh, root beer. I mean, uh, not a lot of people drink root beer. At least the people I know. Not a lot of them drink root beer. So, uh, if you're into drinking it like I am, then you can feel free to get one from the fridge if you're interested. The first one we're going to be reacting to is called The Mime. And, of course, everyone knows mimes. You know, the people that copy your every move. So, you know, people that are stuck, uh, stuck in a glass box or an invisible box knocking on it and all that like it's traditionally a very odd thing to see so to make something like that horror is a very interesting take it's an expansion of the take that people usually do with like when like mimes are encountered in public places not that they're you know encountered very often but a mime doing something horrific is a thing that people probably would expect but it never escalates to that point but now that we don't have a barrier in this video. We'll see just how quickly it escalates. Okay, things are starting off at a gas station. Well, it looks like, no, it's a train station, right? Oh, okay. Hi. the mime is already here? I thought it would have been like a little bit longer of a buildup before we got. Okay. Is that you doing that? probably pay for that phone. There's no way that happened. Hello? <laughs> Why does she sound like a Charlie Sorry, Brown character? Much. Like one of the- she talks like one of the parents from Charlie <laughs> Brown. I don't think she liked that. You played her off. I don't think she liked that. Oh, she didn't like that at all. <laughs> okay. So is she waiting for another train? Oh, when did... Now, you wouldn't notice if someone just all of a sudden sat next to you. Like, you can feel and hear that. Very funny. Okay. She's not playing. She's not playing. Not anymore, at least. She's looking, right? Yep. You know, at this point, you should just go on your way and pretend she's not even... Like... You both are going your separate ways. At this point, you should probably just leave. I, why does that look like the same bench? Do they all look the same? Looks like the exact same area. Okay. Got an apple. And she hasn't... Oh, spoke too soon. She's across from her, though. Come on, move. Hmm? No way. Wait. The, mi the mime can control her, too? I thought it was just a one-way thing. Well, this is gonna get horrific. She done. She doesn't even have control of her own body doing? anymore. It's like, oh, she can't even speak anymore. I I had a feeling. I had a feeling things would go this way. 
Hmm. Now, aren't, aren't like both sides of the train tracks, or at least on the side of them, like, aren't they still like the same size? They'd both have to jump in if anything. There's no way she can make her hop in there and not get crushed at the same time. Oh, but she's doing it. Oh no. No. Well, she's gone. And I hear no train horns or nothing. Did the train... Uh, you know, we assumed what happened, of course, but... The train... Huh. Okay, the mime. I say that this video was very expected yet unexpected, mostly because <laughs> the themes with the mime, it's what they usually do, right? Like, you, you, they mimic people, but then it escalates to different, like, various types of things from there. As far as the location went with the train tracks and everything, it felt very predictable, of course, because what wouldn't happen, that would be the only logical course of action to happen if you were doing horror and a train involved at the same time. But nonetheless, I think that it was a very creative way to go about uh, the mime. Very horrific. Kind of comical at times, but uh, overall, I could I could feel the horror aspect there. Okay, this next one is called Doppelganger, and it's also by ACM Official. Doppelgangers is a has always been a very interesting subject to me. Of course, I never bought it up, but it has been an interesting subject to me. Primarily captured in Jordan Peele's Us, if you've ever seen that before. You know, doppelgangers come to attack uh, the real family, or the family that is living above ground. And... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully that it's not spoilers. Yeah. Um, copy family comes to attack real family, and you know they gotta fight each other. That theme has always been very interesting to me. Like how, how exactly would anyone go about combating themselves if it was a one v one? Because they know what you know. What? They will do what you do. Mm -hmm. They're thinking exactly what you're thinking in the moment. Oh, so shit. how exactly would you counter yourself? Boy, if you don't. Anyway, uh, that, instead of overthinking it, let's just see what this perspective is. Okay. I think we're at a motel of some sort. Oh, well, <laughs> that's a cheap one. Tried to get me with that little jump scare. Hey, Carly's on her way over. I gotta give her something and then we can. Go. Babe, what's wrong? He seems like he's seeing something. Nothing. He probably saw his double, right? Tell me. I've been seeing him again. Yep, he saw him. Where? Last week. Oh. At the gas station. Yeah, see, things like that. You just see, a, like, a copy of yourself literally come out of nowhere. You, you see... Literally yourself staring back at you two, but you're not in the mirror. Three days ago, at work. Oh, wait. Your copy is stalking you? Well, I guess that would happen. What if you just had a... the long lost twin that just so happened to know where you were. Last night. And he just did this to you. Like, just as an introduction, he just started doing that. You followed me. Is he following you? Well, in the car park, it kind of looks weird that you're... Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, I was about to say, like, if you go to pick up your keys, he can... There's no way he'd get over there that fast in time. I'm sure it's nothing. You probably just need some rest. You look like you haven't slept in days. No, I'd, I'd assume you know, you know very well if you were seeing yourself. She's here. I'll be right back. Or seeing someone else just stalking you in general. Like... That is not good. Okay. It could be your psyche. Wait a minute. No, it isn't. He got taken. He got taken and replaced. You can go now. Yep, he got did taken you, and replaced. Did you change your shirt? 
Mm-hmm. No. That's not him. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You know what's wrong. Get out of the- Oh, oh my. Boy. She's gonna continue. Yeah. Yeah, he just casually changed his shirt. How He's laying down there. She didn't see that at all. Well, what reason was she had to check the trunk? He didn't make any noise. Whoa, that's a twist. Wait a minute. That's a twist. Okay. Okay, that was really good. I actually like this one more than the first one. Very, very inventive, actually. Him working in that little twist at the end, I did not expect that to happen. The camera work on that was uh, definitely good, too, because the only way you can allude to there being doubles of someone is by really good camera work and or great acting or both. But, yeah, he did very, very good with translating that to the audience and... I enjoyed that. So if you guys enjoyed your time here as well, uh, be sure to comment, like, sub, and all that if you haven't already. It is very, very much appreciated. Go to check out ACM Official's channel. He does make more of these. Continue to be awesome, and I'll see you guys later. I don't know if it'll be with spooky stuff, but it'll be with something. Anyway, thanks.